right, uh, welcome along everyone. We've got a great little tutorial with Big Brian, our fabulous big round brush there, who's going to do all of the initial work. He's the first one out of bed, so he's going to start off with a little bit of clean water, about a quarter water, that's a good little phrase to remember. And we're just going to throw some random dots, areas, onto the top half of the uh, of the page we're working on, of the watercolour paper we're working on. A few little extra dots. No, they're just placed down. We're not overthinking this. Again, clean the brush off. I'm going to start with cadmium orange. So nicely mixed, even if I say so myself. Backwards and forwards. Nice and liquid. And then we just dab the brush down. Yeah, that's all it is. We're not moving the brush, we're just placing it down, it'll hit the water and then it'll shoot off to wherever the water is. So wherever the initial water is, that's where it'll go. Keeps it nice and liquid, keeps it nice and moving. Clean that brush again, clean old bright Big Brian. He's a good fella, but he loves a wash. A bit more water, and this time we're going for cadmium red. And again, nicely mixed, and we place this within the cadmium orange that's already there, but it will have moved a little bit in that small space of time. So we put it all down, if we want to adjust it slightly, go back and add a little bit more cad red. Always be careful of the amount of water on the brush. That's why I clean the brush and dab it onto tissue to get all the water out and then add water again, so I know where I am. Okay, we're down to the uh, leaves and the foliage at the bottom now. And we're just dobbing water down. Yeah, that's dobbing. If you need to go on a dobbing course, I'd book early. So the water we're placing down, there's large areas and small areas, so there's a variation. And there's untouched, clean white paper in between. It's not just soaked. Cerulean blue now. Again, just dragging the paint away from the thick paint to make it thinner. Nice little variation. Decent amount. And that's why we use Big Brian. We can carry a lot of uh, liquid paint on there. Just dobbing it down, picking up the water, or dropping into the water, should I say. A Big Brian, one of the uh, loose gang brushes, ideal for painting loose watercolours. So if uh, if you're uh, <clears throat> brushes are a little bit difficult to work with, maybe consider getting yourself some uh, loose gang brushes, they may help, may stop a lot of tears because it will be, it won't, it won't be you not understanding how to do this, it will be the kit or the paper or various other things, little things that hold you back. Cobalt blue now, again liquid Nicely mixed, decent amount of water in there. Then we're just dropping that on. We're starting at the bottom of the already blued area and just dobbing it on. Yeah, this is why this style of painting is so relaxing, and so many people love painting in this way because there's no stress. Again. Look over the area, see if you want to put a few more dobs down, it's a bit top heavy in places or whatever. You can add a little bit more of the cobalt blue. Now we're just going to uh, change brushes. Little mini Dave, a small dagger brush. So you can see the shape of the end of the brush there, very useful indeed. 
This time we're just going to drop a little bit of uh, water, just water, no paint at all, just around the top edge. This will soften the paint that's already there and allow it to flow a little bit further. It's a very light effect to the colouring. Back in with uh, cerulean blue, a little bit thicker this time. Again, mixed in the same way. And then we're actually using the very, very thin end, thin edge, should I say, of Mini Dave. So even though it's a dagger brush there, we, uh, we just place him down. Look at that very delicate, fine line. Not easy to get, that's why the kit's so important at the beginning. Again, place it just at the base of the flower. It will bleed in a bit, but that's a great thing. Because when you allow the paint to naturally bleed into another colour, it doesn't go murky or muddy because you're not mixing it about. Bringing those stems down, they just give that nice, delicate effect. A little bit of cobalt blue. Mini Dave, base of the flowers, just allowing that to bleed in on its own. We're not painting it. Yeah. <clears throat> we should do a little lesson or two on what not, how not to paint. Don't move the brush. Place it down. Now we're adding a few thicker or darker lines. Nice bit of variation within the composition and down towards the base of the uh, foliage as well. You may think, well, why are we doing this in uh, light and dark blues? Well, it's, it's a mood. It's creating the mood of the painting. So we don't need to stick to the actual colours of the subject. And that's a, uh, a thing to get your head around, but when you understand that, then you can start picking the colours that you really enjoy using. Experiment with them and then start creating paintings in those colours. What's not to love about that? Your favourite colour, your favourite subject, the ability to paint it, all things come together to create a great experience. So this is what Loose Watercolours is all about. Miss Rigger is all about as well, and she's come to join us. Miss Rigger, large Rigger brush. Again, fabulous brush, really useful in this style. And cerulean blue. Again, we're getting a bit thicker because we're getting through the painting more, and we're just going to do a little bit of splatter. Yeah. Easy way to get some uh, movement in the painting. Miss Rig is very good. She studied dance for five years, mainly in the pub. But uh, anyway, it's paid dividends, and now she's really good at this sort of thing. And cobalt blue, same thing, a little bit of splatter. And we're going to go back with cadmium red now, just to thicken up strengthen a little bit of colouring within the flowers. So I hope you're enjoying this guys, this style of painting. I know you'll get fabulous at this. The more you do, the more you'll love it. And uh, if you'd like to learn more of this style, please just drop onto the uh, description below and that will take you over to loosewatercolours.com where we've got over 400, 400, yes, Tutorials, all right, all levels, subjects for you to enjoy and get really into this style. So uh, we'll just finish off now with a little cab red and uh, place Miss Rigger down. So thanks for joining me, guys, and have a great, great day.
Well, I do hope you enjoyed that, folks. And if you'd like to uh, join me on loosewatercolors.com, just click on the memberships tab that appears now. And I'd love you to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel to help me keep producing more work for you to enjoy.